Many years ago, I started a group with two of my buddies called Cottonmouth. Well, first called P-Town Ballers, then called Cottonmouth. And uh, everybody knows the story from there, but one of the members, one of the original members of Cottonmouth passed away. And uh, even though we've spent a lot of time touring the country, touring the world, doing songs, hanging out, whatnot. Um, the things I'm in the, the things I think about the most, the things that I remember the most are the times back in the day, in these days, in these days. In the Cottonmouth days, and we'd roll around, me, Dustin, and Steve, and the, and the, the probe, Steve's probe with the 15s in the back, that's where we got the bunk, with 15s in the trunk, that was in Saints Probe. We're just playing ball at the park, watching him clown around. And uh, going in the studios for the first time in can animals, just going up Studio A, I think, even where we did the first demos, in Studio B or something in, in Hollywood. And just the excitement and the... Just the raw energy and fun that we were having... Just living life and talking about it were some of the funnest years of my life looking back. And uh, we lost a good one. It's kind of shitty. Gone way too soon. Well, I feel bad for his family, I know. And I uh, feel bad for all the fans out there. I feel bad for uh, for Dustin. I feel bad for... Feel bad for Steve because I think there's a lot that he had left to give us that uh, we're never gonna get to find out. But uh, I hope whatever piece you were looking for, buddy, you found, um, you're gonna be sorely missed. All right, peace, Saint Dog. Steve Dog. Saint Dog, my brother, I love you, man. I uh, it was way too early for you to go, but uh, through all of this stuff, you've literally brought together the whole underground movement and so many people, people I haven't talked to in years. Um, there's so much love out there for you and your music left behind such a massive legacy. And uh, I promise that I will make sure that that legacy lives on for uh, you, your family, the big extended family of fans and friends. And uh, love you more than anything, brother. Rest in peace. I know you're up there with Big Pac right now, smiling down on us all. I love you. Rest in peace, Saint Dog. Love you from the bottom of my heart. You're severely missed, but it feels good knowing that your legacy is immortalized and will live on th through fucking everybody who reps your shit, homeboy. DGAF US Circle A connection till the day I die. Thank you so much for everything you've brought to my life. You made my dreams come true. Never fucking held me back. Always push me forward. Always pump me up. And just know that you're missed, homeboy. I love you. Yo, what up, St. Dog? It's your boy, Jesse, with Life Rolls On. Just want to say that I miss you, man, and can't believe that you're gone. And I just want to say thanks for all the memories, man, back in the 1996, 97, right after I got hurt. You used to bring me up on stage, man, the first dude in a wheelchair rolling up, gave me front row seats, made all, all your shows that were not wheelchair accessible the best seats in the house i remember when you you and i went to the hospital and got to see your kid when he was born man those memories were just they're priceless i wish we could have spent more time together and i wish i could have been there to inspire you a little bit more but i miss you man and your heart is just huge you're such a generous person, man, and uh, Codmouth Kings. Yeah, you're the originator, dude. Miss you, buddy. Life rolls on. Hey, what's up, everybody? This uh, this message is from my brother, St. Dog. Um, you know, never expected it to end this way, first of all. Um, just how you touched everybody, what you... 
just the legacy you left behind. You're such a unique person. Um, I remember the first time I met his kids. I was with your brother Haas, and we were with we were with Elo and uh, hanging out up in Riverside. And I'm like, yo, who's that kid skateboarding across the street? You just had so much style. You, you had like a, your shirt off, you had this button up and the shit was just flying down and you were just slashed like a big old 50 50 grind or something like that. Um, so from the first day I've ever seen you, you just had so much style. Um, you had just so much charisma and you were so unique and you touched so many people with your music. And, uh, when we first started doing Cottonmouth Kings, I remember you moved into my house and just the whole beginning writing writing process. Um, you know, uh, you just you helped build a legacy, one of the biggest, gnarliest underground legacies ever that came out of Southern California. Um, Cottonmouth Kings Sub Noise built that. And uh, you, you were the foundation of it. You were the first front man, really. I thought Cottonmouth Kings had. You, uh, you know, I was always just like your sidekick when we first started coming out to the world and all these people. Um, you just had so much like powerful image and your voice was so so powerful and, and so unique. Um, and it touched so many people, dog. And I still think about your voice all the time and just how you rapped and stuff. It was so, it was so cool. Um, so I want to thank you for everything you've done for uh, us, the whole nation of kings and queens. Um, you're going to leave such a legacy behind. Um, never going to let that go. As long as, as long as I'm still rocking and Cottonmouth Kings is around, I will never let your legacy down. Um, I will always uh, um, let people know about it and uh, praise it. Um, you're just a huge part of Cottonmouth Kings. There would be no, no Cottonmouth Kings if it wasn't for you. And that's 100%. Cottonmouth Kings wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Uh, you know, we, we were writing the first raps for Cottonmouth Kings coming up with the name. And, and, and so, you know, so much respect for that and on all levels, um, for real. I know we didn't talk for a lot of years and you just been so, in and out of jail and um the last couple times we've had together uh, was at my house we recorded we recorded the the kingdom come record together and um i remember we did some photo shoots and then he came over the pad went over to my studio and uh recorded the song and uh so i'm really thankful we got that last one in and uh yeah man so um nothing but uh, condolences to Big Hoss, your family, your sister, your mom, your dad. I know all those people personally. You've been known them since I was a, before I was a teenager. I met you and your family, so there's a lot of history there um, and stuff like that. Uh, nothing but love, brother. I know you're resting easy. I know you had a lot going on in your mind. I know you're looking down on me and Cottonmouth Kings and uh, keeping everything all right. Uh, your, your soul will forever be a part of Cottonmouth and, and uh, you'll ever be uh, praised by everybody in the camp. You're a true king. You're the king of all kings. You're a god to in this Cottonmouth King's world. And uh, thank you for everything. Uh, I love you like a brother. And uh, rest in peace. Cut my favorite dog. Love you, homie. Same. I was fortunate enough to watch you many, many times rock and inspire a whole generation of kids. You left way too early. Rest in peace, my friend. To my brother Saint Dog, I love you. I miss you. I'm reminiscing these last couple of weeks about uh, all our tour stories, the crazy antics that we did, um, all the music we've done. I wish we could still do more. You've left behind a legacy. You left behind a lot of great memories. Um, you've touched so many people, so many hearts. Um, the world lost a legend in you, but uh, we're never gonna forget you. You're, you're the underground. You're one of the legends. You're the true OG of this, the true OG Cottonmouth King. I love you, I miss you, and uh, the whole family, you know, loves you and respects you forever. RIP Saint Dog.
Recipe Saint. Saint Dog, this one's for you. Cheers, my friend. You'll be missed. We'll see you on the other side. Cop Mouth Kings don't stand for a gang. Cop Mouth King just let the nuts hang. What up, people? It's Malcolm Riker. Scratch and Snip, Rock 105.3, iHeart Media, early KMK supporter. Man, I'm just crushed right now. I want to reach out to uh, St. Dog's family, to all the fans and friends out there, man, all the OGs. Anyhow, St. Dog was, was the original. The, I mean, it never, never could be replaced in KMK from those first couple of albums, man. And uh, I just got mad respect. I seen the guy bring people in wheelchairs up on stage, had a heart of gold. And uh, anyhow, whoa, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss you, brother. I got mad respects, mad love. And uh, heaven just got a, a good one up there, man. RIP, yeah. When I first heard the news of your passing, it came in, it put me in a moment of taking reflection back on the times we spent together uh, in the studio, driving up to the office, and just our conversations. Uh, rest in peace, my friend, and definitely condolences to your family, to your brother, Big Hoss, and all the memories that we have together, working together at Suburban Noise Records. How do you sum up one of the realest human beings and dopest MCs on the planet? Well, that was Saint Dog. And Saint, I'm glad I had the opportunity to tour and rock stages with you and get to know you in this lifetime, man. Godspeed, brother. Rest in peace. Love you, bro. Hey, everybody, it's Doug Carrion from the Suburban Noise family. It has been a minute or two. Saint, uh, to you, I'm sorry to hear about your passing. To your family, hugs, love, respect, and prayers. To the Suburban Noise family, Ah, oh, we lost another soldier. It sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. It's tragic. Back to Saint. I think about you all the time. I think I still have your skateboard. Um, I'm going to miss you. Uh, I think about you from time to time with great memories, laughing about early Humble God shows, early Suburban Noise times, early uh, Cottonmouth King shows. Um, that's it. Sorry and tragic, but love and respect, brother. Catch you on the other side. Say hi to Pakalika for me. Peace. Well, Saint, this is a tough one. Um, been thinking about how I was going to do this. And I just figured I'd take and pull off the road, just sit down. This is really tough. You are an amazing person, brother. Had a lot of great times with you on the road. I love you, man. Just so many memories, so many good times. I just dread thinking nuts. You know. The end of that, but I just I have a lot a lot of good memories and I really love you, brother. This breaks my heart. I just, I'm at a loss for words even. You know, you were always real. That's the one thing I'll always remember. Good, bad, you know, there was a lot of times I had to clean up little messes, but in retrospect, everything you embodied, you were a rock star, bro. And I loved you. A lot of people know Saint Dog. The one thing I can say that I'll take with me and I'm happy is I knew Steve a little. And uh, like I said, I just love you, brother. Saint Dog, man. Um, what can I say, bro? Uh, a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of wild nights. A lot of good times, man. I'm always gonna remember those good times, I promise. And uh, it's crazy, man, to hear the stories, you know, from, from your friends. You know, a lot of us don't know each other 
you know, directly other than we know you. And I kind of share the same type of stories, man, you know, with your friends has is, is been amazing. And, um, you know, you're a legend, bro. You know, you're a good friend, man. And um, for a long time, and, uh, you know, you're going to be missed by a lot of people. So we're going to hold you down and uh, rest in peace, big homie. I miss you already. Happy birthday. Love you, bro. Yo, Saint Dog, true rock star till the end. That's all I got to say, man. From the first time we hooked up in the late 90s to rocking the stage, recording, doing whatever, he was a true rock star. Anywhere he went, people would turn their head. You knew he was someone, and uh, that never changed. Like I said, from rocking the stage to recording to running his management the last few years, it was a true honor. That guy was a underground legend, and I think that's very evident just with the type of impact he had and the type of reaction that we've seen the last two weeks. True rock star and uh, truly gonna be missed. I just wanted to say uh, rest in peace, rest in paradise, Saint Dog. Um, although I didn't know you well personally, um, we have toured together and uh, we were all part of the SRH Suburban Noise family and uh, the legacy that you leave behind uh, I can see all the lo people that love you. You, you. Your music's gonna live on forever, so your spirit will live on forever. Uh, it's a it's a sad day for underground hip hop. It's a sad day for so so many of your friends and family. Um, I just want to send my respect and and my my deepest condolences to to everybody. And I know that you're going to be greatly missed, and your music's gonna live on forever. God bless, brother. Civilian name, Robbie. Show business handle, Dog Boy. I'd like to take this time to send my sincerest and deepest condolences to all the Saints family, friends, and of course the Cottonmouth crew. Uh, I'd also like to take this time to thank Saint and the rest of the boys for including me, uh, in the, especially the Royal Highness run. Um, a lot of great, tour memories, a lot of great um, shows, uh, late night conversations, back lounge style. Um, you know, there's not a lot of perks to being uh, one of the older guys or a vet in the crew, but Saint would always grant me this utmost uh, respect. And like Sammy Davis Jr. said, you know, it's so groovy when the young cats dig you. But, um, uh, you know, he was a great visionary. Like when it came to songwriting, I always appreciated the fact he always was very conceptual and, and we would talk about what his song was about or, or what I was writing about. He wanted to know what I was feeling and thinking and he would jump on that concept well, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so once again, I, my sincerest uh, and deepest condolences to his family and friends at Cottonmouth Crew. And I know wherever you are, Saint, I know you're living life to the fullest, laughing, and I hope you're at peace. Big love and respect. And for all you those, uh, for all of those, easy for me to say, for everyone struggling on how to feel about this, stick close to your faith and you'll have guidance. Big love and respect, Irie. Steve, you are one of a kind. You taught me everything about stage presence and commanding a crowd. You truly were just a pioneer of music from the standpoint of creative hip hop lyrics and delivery and cadence. You had an amazing ability to go straight hip hop and then pick up an acoustic guitar and pour your heart out. You had the biggest smile in the world. You electrified a room. You were always there for your fans, always there for your friends. You, you lifted everyone's spirits when you, when you entered a room. And all that is gonna be greatly missed. Uh, I can think back to when we had the Cruiser Love track that we did together and how excited we were to have you in that room and, and how much you brought a lift to that song and just made something so special. But more importantly, you were just 
just a bigger than life personality that was loved by all and we're just gonna miss you. Love you, Saint. Saint Doggy. I was deeply saddened to hear of Steve's passing. For his family, I'm so very sorry for your loss. In the days, weeks, months, and years ahead of your grief, I will be sending my prayers and love. I knew Steve about 20 years ago. He was a young man with a great smile and a really, really good heart. And that's what I think of when I think of Saint, is someone with a really good heart. Again, I'm so sorry for your loss. What's up, man? What's up? This is Saint Dog's brother, Big Hoss, man. I'm calling just to let everybody know that not only did I lose a brother, a best friend, I lost my business partner of 30 years. And uh, there's no words to explain what I'm going through and what my family's going through. And I appreciate everybody that has sent love and helped in any way possible. But we're not going to let Saint go down like that, man. He's a... Uh, He's going to be remembered in every way possible from here on out. U.S. Circle Lay Records, man, we're about to push with the help of Sub Noise, Force 5. We're just getting it cracking, man. And uh, Hostile Crew sends their regards to you, brother. We, but you know how much I miss you. And I wish it could have been me instead of you. And dog, I just love you. And rest in peace, little brother. Rest in peace, homie.